Hi, my name is Buzzy, I'm a sculpture major at Froad Island School of Design, and welcome to another vlog which I have yet again been procrastinating to edit, featuring internship hunts, two big critiques, Thanksgiving break, finals, and of course, all of my lovely friends. Good morning, welcome back to art school, and in this episode, everybody's going through it because the light, the light, it's vanishing so fast, it gets dark at 4 p.m. now. Like what? <laughs> there was literally half attendance in my class the other day. So I thought what better a week to make a vlog than the week when everybody is tired. Ooh, that New England weather has really been hitting lately. <laughs> I have a big crit today of this big wood project that I've been doing that I'm excited to show you guys. But first, I need to print out the gallery insert text for the wall because it's an interactive piece and I want to clarify how people should interact with it. So I'm going to have to spend about 25 cents to print out about eight words on a piece of paper. It's great. Today is Friday, so I don't have any lessons, but traditionally this has been my admin day. Ooh, why is my hair doing that? So that means that I'm going to be focusing on answering all of these emails, trying to arrange this internship in New York over the winter session period, and starting to do loads of branding for my unscrap clothing line, and then also editing this video that's coming up soon. So a lot to do, but we got it. It is no later than 5 p.m. and it's already dark. We love Providence, we love it here. Twenty. <laughs> How much are these? This is not canvas. This is not canvas. Hello. <laughs> I can't find the canvas. <laughs> Nina. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> it feels like, like glass, right? Like, what? <laughs> I 
So good. Now this might be considered a complete act of heresy, but I'm going to be having the leftover hot pot from last night with some rice because I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be tasty, and I need the calories. <laughs> Too late editing that video last night. Uh, but I'm going to New York today. It's gonna be good. I need to get out the door before I fall asleep again. So this is a field trip with Fashion at Brown which I'm designing a collection for in the spring and we're basically just going to go to a load of museums we're going to go to Fab Scrap which is this textile recycling service and pick up a load of fabric for our collections it's just going to be a good time but this is definitely by far the earliest I've woken up since like 2014 <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be sleeping in the car Have you found any cool materials? Yes, we have. Yeah, I love these. Yeah, Elise, what have you been finding? This guy. <laughs> wow. Then there's this guy. It's like shiny and beautiful, but I'm not going to use it. It's just for people to keep. And Vivian has the pink. Oh my god.
Okay, excuse the AC in the background, but this is the progress so far. I think this pocket might be slightly higher than this pocket, but only because I made it, I'm noticing it. I also don't know if I should give it arms or not. This is kind of nice as it is. Okay, a lot of thinking to do, but it's looking good. I'm trying to get all the equipment to make high quality garments without having to rely on a studio space because the Brown Street studio which I currently use is going to be closed over winter session and none of the apparel department has been replying to my emails so I'm headed to get an iron from Facebook marketplace right now let's do it it's an adventure like a summer breeze when I fall Like autumn leaves Wouldn't it be nice To grow all together Cause you're cold And You know when you take your foot off the accelerator once, one time, and decide to give yourself a break, and that break turns into like 200 unread emails, a 10 page essay due in three days, and yeah, a whole final due at the end of the week, and um, I'm talking about myself. I like haven't started them and I need to I, I need to get onto it. And the thing that really annoys me about this whole situation is I would have been fine. I would have been fine if I just wasn't set any more work. So the imbalance of information was like what fucked me over. Uh, we love to see it. The thing that's been getting me for it is this hair. I love it so much. And my bread machine. Let me show you. So this is her. She's tucked away in the corner behind my plant. And I got her for $3.99 I believe at Savers and <laughs> when I tell you how I love it being able to make freshly baked bread from the comfort of my own dorm at the tap of a button is amazing I never want to leave this space my little domestic interior I did plug it in at Savers to test that the screen worked and when it turned on I was like okay it's three dollars what have I got to lose and um, to my surprise, the heating coil worked and it makes lovely bread. So I'm gonna make some more bread and then by the time that I'm back from the studio, I will have a freshly baked loaf ready for me. Okay, with the bread on, now let's head to the mat so I can actually eat something for once and then back to the studio. This is the Sculpture Studios, which became my home away from home, or dorm away from dorm, I guess you could say. Every Sculpture Student gets one of these little blue workstations that you can see in the back of the shot here, with some power tools and batteries and a welding mask and a fire protective jacket and all of the other shenanigans that we need to make 
things and we get to keep it, which my friends in the industrial design department are very, very jealous of. This is just a small part of the lovely group of people that we chose to do this project with. And when working in such a big group, it was really hard to come up with something that everybody felt inspired to make. The assignment was to make a sculpture that extended reality using video or projection. And so we talked in circles for hours and hours and hours and eventually settled on making a spaceship. And my official role in this was head of fake technology. So here the crew are helping me to hot glue loads of plastic trash to cardboard panels that we cut to the right sizes. And then the plan is to spackle them, spray paint them, and then dry brush them with metallic paint and weather them with oil paint and mineral spirits so that they look like old rusted metal parts. And this project, it just consumed my whole team's life for the two weeks leading up to the utterly insane finals. While everybody else is working, I am digging through all the trash cans around. I'm grabbing all the plastic and like weird shapes and textures of things that I can find in the garbage so we can hopefully make this project work. I think it's gonna be really cool. And then we're gonna like spray paint it and weather it so it looks like this crazy machine. It's gonna be amazing. Plastic cool. is there's never any good bread and I have single-handedly solved that problem but now I'm gonna go to bed because it's half past midnight so yeah bread in bed will be good Whew. good night sometimes you're physically I feel like I'm inside photos right now. Oh wait, that's because I am inside photos. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be so cool. I can lose it because I'm so I have my final crit today and I stayed up until 4 a.m. with my group last night working and I am so tired but it's gonna be all over today and then I can go home <laughs> so that's the good news hello Oh. Is it working? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. I heard it was working. It was working. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now 